you have to choose a fictional monster to let loose in the world. Which one would you pick? The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Medusa would be fun. Wouldn't last long but fun. I would release her at Coachella. Influencers would finally be immortalized forever. You are assuming they are going to look away from their phones long enough to catch her gaze. Ah so true, Carl. Say hi for the kids for me. Any rain there? We're getting drowned down here. How's Pam? Ah yes so it can recreate all Pokemon in our world. Alright this is the winner. Mods please lock the thread. SCP-999 that is a really horrible monster from the SCP wiki. Worldwide depression rate is gonna drop to 0% with the tickle monster around. Dude I was just about to reply the same thing. I would have gone with SCP-914 or SCP-500 but okay. Cookie monster, of course. I'd bake some chocolate chip cookies and then hang out watching reruns of Martha Bakes with him. It would be awesome. I'm a little dismayed at how far I had to scroll to get to this answer. Definitely the first monster I thought of. Remember that cookie monster Amma? Such a cool guy. Here it is. Until you run out of cookies. Little known fact, cookie monster feeds on the blood of innocence without cookies. Squirtle, specifically the squad with shades on. I know eating Pokemon is frowned upon in that universe, but I'm sure that Squirtles would be eaten in ours. Ah, far-fetched, Magikarp, slow poketails. There's a lot of Pokemon eating in the Pokemon universe. Milk Tank? Gardevoir. Eadegeoeadeg Tepig? I wonder what Gardevoir milk would taste like, assuming they can nurse their young. What about Farsetch 2 are considered a delicacy in their Pokedex entry? SCP-682. SCP-999 it's literally just a blob of orange jelly with eyes that makes you feel better and eats candy. Literally nothing malicious about it. Just a small jelly that purrs. The vending machine SCP would be cool too, as long as no one knows that it can give you whatever you ask for. Hey man if I'm ever feeling suicidal can you ask it for a cup of me? That thing's also implied to be sentient. Ask it for a cup of itself. And that's when we find out how it reproduces. It also has an ook flavored drink, turns you into a living nuclear bomb. Oh boy. I tried to think of the most harmless thing. Something that I loved from my childhood. Something that would never ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puffed. We used to roast Stay Puffed marshmallows by the fire at Camp Wakanda. Ray has gone bye bye, Egan. What have you got left? Sorry, Venkman. I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. How do you think a marshmallow monster is going to respond when it finds out you eat its kin? Mother pus bucket. Our Ghostbusters is leaking exoplasmic residue. That's it no one steps on a church in my town. If I could cheat a bit, the Adams family, because if I'm going to live in a world of serial killers and psychopaths, I'd rather be picked up by them on a dark lonely night in the middle of nowhere. Release the Kraken. Garfield, the horror version RM's origin. The Loch Ness Monster, to collect all the tree fiddy. The Thing R.I.P. World. Swamp Dragons, the sort that Lady Sybil Ramkin is fond of. Yes, or that little sock-eating creature from Hogfather, always thought it was cute. Phoenix, easy, they've always been among my favorite mythical creatures. Plus, not harmful depending on which mythos we are working off of. Also good if you need a defense attorney. Shyamut, the destroyer of worlds and on you goddess. Jim that sweet sweet on hit AOE damage. Lulf the spider queen, would like to know your location. Light must be extinguished. Shyamut can be found ruling the first plane of the nine hells where she spawns all of evil dragon kind. It's no secret. Zeriel rules of Venice at the moment actually. There's a new campaign book coming out, in fact, featuring exactly this. I want in. How many you talk in? The Michelin Man. That big pillow would throw quality tires all over the place. But he's made of tires. Not very pillowy at all. The original Michelin Man was made of tires, but the new one looks like somebody mushed a bunch of marshmallows on top of each other. A keju. Scale is unheard of, scientists would be talking heads on news for weeks about how it's not even possible it could sustain its own weight, where did it even come from, 
who was the obese man laughing hysterically in all the early photos taken by tourists. The goose that lays the golden egg. The flying spaghetti monster. Apologies if you're a believer. It matters not if you believe in him. What's important is that he believes in you. Baymax. Harmless, cute and can save lives. He is not a monster. He is a personal health care companion. And Caligan the Black, you know, the dragon that broke three active volcanic mountains when he fell on them. The silence. Least I don't have to think about it. SCP-999, because the world needs more happiness. Discworld's eater of socks. It's a small elephant-like creature that eats socks. Missing one of your socks again. Maybe the eater of socks infiltrated your house and ate it. So it's like the house hippo? The Vashtan Erida. Nothing worse than a swarm microscopic can get anywhere flesh-eating beings that mimic shadows. I'd pick a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. Elmo, he is a real monster. The most garishly colored and averagely drawn deviant art furry drawing I can find. Depends on my motives. Evil apocalypse terrorist, because it can't be killed, except by a wish, and even then it just reappears somewhere else. Evil takeover mind flare, it can control the minds of those it can just look at, and also melt your brain with psychic energy. For fun small miniature Cerberus, kind like corgi sized. To help Omister, as we should all praise Lord Helix. For myself agent, that will let me bring back Monkey Jones from the YouTube graveyard. Small miniature Cerberus, kind like corgi sized. A Corberus, if you will. Well, now I have to draw that. B.O.B. from Monsters vs. Aliens. Indestructible goo version of Seth Rogen rolling around eating garbage. All shall know the wrath of the Pillsbury Doughboy. We called it and then it gives me an excuse to wear my Auron cosplay in public. A goblin. Give him a nice suit and a job interview. See how he does in the world. Hope it won't treat him too bad. This is a greenskin positive comment thread. Goblin Slayer fans do not interact. I would bring SCP vertical bar a vertical bar a vertical bar a so I can commit death. Tiastra. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Godzilla, and I let it loose in Hiroshima. Clifford the Begret Dog. Time to see if humans will actually forever love dogs, even if it means their homes are getting stomped on. I'm going to pick a middle-aged bronze dragon from D&D. It's in the monster manual. It counts as a monster bronze dragons are typically lawful good. They are capable shapper shifters who only revert to draconic form when they are alone. Otherwise they imitate humanoids or other creatures to fit in. They take an interest in helping people. A shipwrecked sailor drifting might be rescued by a dolphin that's actually a bronze dragon in disguise. They are helpful, lawful, peaceful, and won't mess with you unless you mess with them. They can live for thousands of years. A young adult has a lot of life left before them. Basically a superhero dragon. The luggage. Half travel accessory, half homicidal maniac. Made of pure sapient pear wood. I'm upvoting you begrudgingly, because luggage is my favorite character from that universe, but he is not a monster. Vampires XD would be a hell of fun. Eric Cartman from South Park. Definitely a KGite. They have wares for sale, if you have coin. Horn to rest just goofy little ghosts. The succubus from Konosuba, they have a mutually beneficial relationship with men, i.e., positive dreams for their life energy. It's an anim, and this particular part is probably not SFW. Jarmungunda. Let's see if you're as brave as Thor. Sif the Great Grey Wolf. He's just such a good boy. Weeping angels from Doctor Who, no one would know, and they would almost certainly be impossible to identify for the average person. Demigorgon for all you Stranger Things lovers out there. For maximum pandemonium, is pick the Devilge Ho from Monster Hunter. Ecosystem would perish, society as a whole would collapse at the devastating power and destruction of the mighty Pickle Joe. Out of a Pokemon, Charmander or Eevee I don't know, but I would do anything for an Eevee, same for a Charmander. A bear holding a shark. Bonus points if you're old enough to get the reference. The giant gingerbread man from Shrek 2. Let's release SCP-096 and SCP-173, and make sure they stay together at all times. Terrasque there's only one, and with good reason. That gnome that keeps gnoming me. 
Jigglypuff everyone could use a nap once in a while. Probably nice skeletons. It would be cool seeing one walking down the street. Naga Kuga from the Monster Hunter games. Bahamut. Just end it all man. Ultra flare us into oblivion. Alduin. Good luck to the dragon. Borns of the world.